welcome to the Occupy LA. Mike Jack! Mike Jack! Mike Jack! Mike Jack! Mike Jack! Mike Jack! I need! I need! Ten volunteers! Ten volunteers! To help clean up! To help clean up! In the front of this building! In the front of this building! Today for a big day! Today for a big day! So I need at least ten people right here, right now! So I need at least ten people right here, right now! This is my humble abode. Please come in. My name is Leo, and this is where I sleep with the sky coming down on me. My book I read. I have a book. I've been here since Monday, but I spend very little time in the tent. It's mainly outside where we, um, where I volunteer sometimes. Uh, we have a first aid tent, we have a food tent, we have, um, we have a donation and welcoming tent, we have books. Here's Occupy LA's library. This is where I get my books. Jessie Nicole. I'm from Sex Workers Outreach Project Los Angeles. We are a group that's dedicated to ending violence and stigma against sex workers. And we are here because, well, sex workers are part of the 99%. We, how has it affected me? Um, oh, perfect example is I am in about $60,000 worth of debt, and I did sex work to put myself through college and still ended up with that much student loans after grad school and everything. And the way that would make, that was my chosen way to support myself was illegal and therefore much more dangerous than it would have been otherwise. Oh, I'm a receptionist actually. I do all of this completely volunteer run. Um, it's none of us get paid to be a part of this. And it's, no one will ever pay you to fight for your human rights. Oh, I am here because there was a seven, there were two children. One seven-year-old child asked me, when were we Americans are going to start speaking up and, de and demanding justice, or asking for justice. And there was an eight-year-old child that said they were good as dead. And I thought the two children ought to get together and we ought to stand up and fight for the children. So I'm challenging all the gray hairs and all, all the gray hairs to get out here in front of the children and stand to protect them and demand their rights and justice for them. I'm here because I'm, I'm against, I'm with the protesters because of the banks taking the money away from people's homes and how people can't use the money to get food. Okay. In the last three years, I've lost a house, I've lost a car, I've lost everything I own. We've lost two animals. It's because of corporate stinginess. The corporations are running the government from behind the curtains, and uh, it, it's disgusting. It's ruining our way of life. This is it right here. This is what I call home for the meantime. This is my crib. Uh, this will be day number five for me. And well, have you taken a shower? It looks like you came uh, from taking a shower. Um, I have. I went home, but we're coordinating with other people that are donating their shower. And actually, a couple of days ago, we had a ho had a hotel room that we were sharing uh, the shower. So oh, I take sponge baths. You know, just uh, t the necessary places. And there's uh, porta potties. There's water there, so we can utilize that. People have been absolutely marvelous. They've been bringing vegetarian food. They've been bringing coffee. People have just been marvelous all over the world, and we appreciate that. We the people. I'm buying lunch for the people. Are you sure? Yes. This is supposed to be a government for the people and by the people. And big corporations have taken charge of our lives in every aspect of our lives. People who have lost their homes, have lost everything like us, come and join us. Stand up for your rights.